First of all, using a flat screwdriver, remove the encoder wheel in the side of the cartridge. Pry it off from the back side. Remove the screw. Using a blade, bend the black plastic cover out from the middle. Make attention. There are two pins on each side that will break if you just pull the cover off. Remove the leaf spring. Be careful, do not damage the developer roller. Remove the doctor blade. Remove the fill plug. Dump out any remaining toner and clean the cartridge as well as possible. If you can use compressed air, it's better. You may also use a toner vacuum. Do not breathe the toner dust. Clean the doctor blade with isopropyl alcohol. The doctor blade regulates the amount of toner over the developer roller. Make attention not to damage this thin mylar blade. If damaged, the toner would drop out of the cartridge. Gently clean the developer roller with a clean lint-free cloth. If necessary, you can also use a isopropyl alcohol. Reinstall the doctor blade, making sure it is positioned correctly. Reinstall the leaf spring. Reinstall the developer roller cover. Reinstall its screw. Fill the cartridge with the proper amount of toner. Do not overfill the cartridge. Reinstall the fill plug and shut for leaks. Install the encoder wheel. Replace the chip. It's necessary to change the chip every time you refill the cartridge. And the work is done.